last story time, we have been talking about ocean life. And yesterday we talked about it. And also I had you do some ocean dot to dots. Boys and girls, we did this one. Remember? And then I also asked you to do the next two. But there's a problem with this one. The two was cut off of the paper. So you're not able to see where to go from one to two. So if that's a problem, you don't need to finish that one. Okay? But you should have done the third ocean animal. Hmm, I wonder what it turned out to be. You can do the fourth and fifth anytime this week, okay? But now we're going to talk more about um, being safe in the water, whether you're playing in the ocean or your pool in the backyard, or you visit a big pool, or you might go play in Lake Michigan. We want you to be safe. So I have a safety song, of course. It goes like this. Hip, 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 hooray, for fun and safe water play. These are the rules we learn in school. We promise to obey. I'll sing them, you sing. Hip, 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 hooray, for fun and safe water play. Now you sing. Hip, 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 hooray, for fun and safe water play. Listen. These are the rules we learn in school. You sing. These are the rules we learn in school. We promise to obey. You sing. We promise to obey. We have four rules for swimming and four rules for playing outside, doing a lot of fun things this summer. Number one, swim with a buddy or pal. Can you sing? Swim with a buddy or pal. Number two, make sure that a grown-up's around. You sing? Make sure that a grown-up's around. Number three, don't push or run. You sing, don't push or run. Number four, protect from the sun. Protect from the sun. The water's a fun playground. The water's a fun playground. Boys and girls, so our four rules are important. Whenever we swim, we wanna swim with a buddy who can watch out for us, and you can watch out for them. And there should be a grown-up watching you all the time, maybe sitting on the side or being close by. And there's no pushing or running. Pushing or running is only gonna hurt you and maybe someone else. And protect from the sun. That means you might need to wear your sunglasses. You might need to wear a sun hat. You'll always want to put on sunscreen, right? And sometimes you might need to just go rest in the shade and drink some water. Those are ways you can protect from the sun. And if you do all that, the water's a fun playground. The water will be a fun playground. Let's sing our rules together. Ready? Swim with a buddy or pal. Make sure that a grown-up's around. Don't push or run. Protect from the sun. The water's a fun playground. And now we sing. Hip, 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 hooray. For fun and safe water play. These are the rules we learn in school. We promise to obey. Now, I'd like you to find your very last Clifford magazine. Boys and girls, we save the best for last. It's all about having fun in the water. Look at her go. She's in preschool just like you. Is she swimming with a buddy or pal? Yes, she is. Is there a grown up around? Yes, there is. Do you think she knows to not push or run? Yes, she does. Do you think she's protecting from the sun? 
I bet she put on sunscreen. You bet. Take a look at the inside of your magazine. There we go. Boys and girls, point to green number one. Let's see who's being safe. to green number one. Look at that picture. Is it safe to swim with a grown-up? Yes! You bet! They're pretty fun in the water anyways, so make sure the grown-ups get in, with, in there with you. Point to blue number two. Is it safe to walk carefully by the pool? Yes, it is. Look how he's walking safely. He's watching where he's going, and he's not using running feet. Point to red, um, orange, number three. Is it safe to run by the pool? No. Look, she has a sad face because she knows we should not run by the pool. In fact, the sign says, caution, wet floor. If you're running on wet floor, you will slip and hurt yourself. Point to purple number four. Is it safe to wear a life jacket in a boat? Yes. Every time you're on a boat, you should have on a very great life jacket. She's ready and she's smiling because she's following directions. Point to pink number five. Is it safe to listen to the lifeguard? Yes. She's there to help you, or he's there to help you. Stay safe and have fun. So make sure you always follow their directions. And here we see a 4K friend who's excited to go swimming, but there's no grown up around. What should he do? He should go find a grown up that he knows and ask them, can you come watch me swim? Or go find something else to do until your grown up is ready. That would be the best choice. Now, boys and girls, let's go to the back and let's go on a hunt together. Boys and girls, you can put your name at the top and let's go on a summer fun hunt. I would like you to find all these things that are fun to use in the sun. Boys and girls, the first one I see is sunglasses. Can you circle the sunglasses? There. And now cross it out. Of course, the light guard has to have sunglasses on so she can see without the bright sun bothering her eyes. What's next? Swing set. Circle the swing set and cross it out. I spy sunscreen. Can you circle the sunscreen? Yes. And cross it out. I spy a beautiful sun and I hope we see that beautiful sun. It's been hiding. Circle the sun. Now can you find the soccer ball? Yes, right here. Cross it out. How about the flip-flop sandals? I'm ready to wear flip-flop sandals soon, are you? Yeah. Circle them. Cross it out. Now can you find the sailboat? That's a fun toy in the water. Right there. And cross it out. And now find the sun hat. There. She's protecting from the sun. Very good. Now, boys and girls, now that we've completed that, that's something you don't need to send on Friday. But I want you to take a look here. Here are some things that are fun in the sun, but let's see. Some of them will be 
for sun, some of them will be for fun, like toys. Let's decide if this is a sun item or a fun item. Boys and girls, can you see what's that? Yes, it's sunscreen. Is that for sun or fun? It's for sun. How about this one? Umbrella. Is the umbrella for sun or fun? It's for sun. It'll protect you from the sun. How about the next one? What is it? It's a sand pail. Is that for sun or fun? It's for fun. It's for building sand castles. I guess you could put it on your head as a hat, but not a good idea. Boys and girls, what do you see next? Sunglasses. Is that for sun or fun? It's for sun. How about this one? What do you see next? A sun hat. It's to protect you from the sun. How about the next object? Is that for sun or fun? It's for fun. It's for building in the sand. What do you see next? A beach ball. Is that for sun or fun? For fun, of course. And the last is a dump truck. Is that for sun or fun? It's for fun. Very good. Well, boys and girls, I sent those pictures home with you. And I have two beach bags. One beach bag is for sun items. You see the sunshine. And one beach bag is for fun items. Toys you can play with at the beach. Boys and girls, you're gonna color each one of these and cut them out and glue stick the ones that are, go in the sun bag and the ones that go in the fun bag. Don't forget to put your name on the top, okay? But before you do that, boys and girls, let's think about our Bible story yesterday. It's one of our last Bible stories that you're gonna put in your binder. It's about a man who acted opposite. This Bible friend, his name was Saul. Do you remember him from yesterday? And he was mean. In fact, he would find people who loved the Lord and he would stick them in jail. One day, God sent a bright light down to Saul and it knocked him over and it made him blind. And it got his attention. And the Lord said, Saul, why are you doing this? And then Saul and his friends were led back to the house. And Saul spent three days in blindness with his friends waiting for an answer from the Lord. And during that time, Saul prayed Saul asked for forgiveness, and Saul asked God to be with him. And then, three days later, God sent a special man named Ananias to Saul. And as soon as Ananias touched him, his sight returned. He could see. He knew that God had blessed him with his sight. He knew that God loved him and would always be with him. And he knew that God had special plans for him to go and share the good news of Jesus. In fact, since he wasn't mean anymore, God changed his name from Saul to Paul. Boys and girls, they look a lot alike, don't they? Yeah, they are the same. But God changed his heart, and now Saul isn't mean anymore. We call him Paul, 
and he did amazing things going to share the good news of Jesus. In fact, in our Bible story, here we see mean Saul. And here he falls to the ground when God sheds light on him to grab his attention. And then God sends Ananias to help him understand that God has great plans for him and that he loves him and he wants him to follow Jesus in all that he does. Here we see Saul, and here we see Paul. Saul's heart was bad. Paul's heart is good. Yes, God is with him. And boys and girls, let's see what Zippy has to say about this story. I heard him talking back here. Let's see how Zippy is doing. Oh, I don't feel happy. I don't feel excited at all. I feel sad and I feel bad. Oh, Zippy, what happened? What's wrong? I am what's wrong. I feel sad, sad, sad because I'm bad, bad, bad. You see, I was playing with my brother Jelly in the sandbox. I got mad at him and threw sand in his face. The sand got in his eyes and he had to go to the doctor. Oh, Zippy. This has happened before. I thought you said you didn't, weren't going to do that again. Yes, but sometimes I do the things I know I shouldn't do. Did you tell Zippy that you were sorry? No, sometimes I don't do the things I know I should do. Did you know Paul said those same words? He did. You mean Paul from our story? Yes. He said the same words. He's a sinner just like you and me. Oh, the apostle Paul felt just like you. He called himself the chief of sinners. That means he felt he was the worst person ever because he hated Jesus. Did Jesus still love him and forgive him? Oh, yes, he did just like he loves you and me and all who believe. That makes me so happy. I don't want to ever hurt Jelly again. I want to change and be different. Will Jesus help me live for him? Yes, he will. He will. And you know what? That's what Jesus did for Paul. When Paul was sorry about his sins and had faith in Jesus for forgiveness, Paul became a new man. He went to many places, telling the gospel about Jesus. Many of the things Paul said have been written in the Bible. Oh, Paul is a child of God. You're right, he is. He is a child of God, in fact. Maybe we should sing our Child of God song later. Should we do that? And you always know Jesus loves you and he forgives you, even when you throw sand in Jelly's face. Listen to our story now. It comes from the Bible. Boys and girls, let's read about Saul turning to Paul. There's Saul. He's mean, isn't he? It's called a changed man. Does Saul change to Paul? Yes, he does. Saul did not like Jesus or his followers. He was on his way to put some of them in jail. Suddenly, a bright light flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground. A loud voice asked, Saul, why are you against me? Saul was afraid. He cried out, Who are you? The voice replied, I am Jesus, the one you are against. Jesus said, Go to Damascus, and you will be told what to do. When Saul got up, he could not see. He was blind. Some men who were traveling with Saul led him to the city of Damascus.
Jesus had also appeared to a man named Ananias. Jesus led Ananias to Saul. Ananias laid his hands on Saul and said, Jesus sent me to you. You may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. He'll help you do great things for God. Immediately, Saul could see. Then Ananias baptized him in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. After this, God changed Saul's name to Paul. He was a new man. Instead of hating Jesus' followers, Paul loved them now, and he became a follower too. Boys and girls, that's the story of Paul, who did amazing things. Once he realized that God loved him and forgave him and had great plans for him. Do you think God forgives you and me? Yes. Do you think God has great plans for you and me? Yes. Because we are his children. And that makes me think of our song. I want to walk as a child of the light. We sang verse one yesterday. Let's sing verse two now. Ready? I want to see the brightness of God. Ready? I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I think you remembered those words. I think that's probably my favorite song we've learned all year. What do you think? We'll sing verse three tomorrow. Let's end with the Lord's Prayer. Ready? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Come join me later, boys and girls. We're going to have a birthday chat with our August birthday friends. Have a great day. Bye-bye.